everybody, it's Terry D Lab. Today I'm going to be converting this Lafayette LT100A tuner into a cool Class A guitar. Alright, to start the process, everything's coming off this chassis except for the power transformer. Let's take a look underneath. Alright, here's the bottom side of the tuner. You can see it already had a power supply issue. A filter cap appears to have blown up. But what's really cool about this tuner is the power transformer. You guys know I make little Class A amps out of the Lafayette police receivers. It uses this exact transformer. So I already know that it's compatible with our Class A circuit. Okay, first step for this retrofit. Get in here with your wire cutters. Carve out those components. Some of them may be reusable. But usually I just put in all new electronics for the build. So one thing I need to point out, you see the AC power cord coming in, going to this rotary switch. There is no fuse in these units, which I don't know how they got away with that, but we're going to be adding that. The filter cap is shot, but I'll be dropping in a replacement that matches that pattern. And of course we're going to have one of my driver boards tube sockets we can use the 6x4 rectifier socket but these little flat phenolic ones that they used back in the day they're junk so here's the lineup we're going to be utilizing that original power transformer installing a new filter cap we have the 6x4 rectifier for the preamp section we have a D-Lab ECBA class A driver board so it's going to have a 12AX7 so we're going to reuse this socket the output tube will be a 6AQ5, so this socket has to come out. The new socket will be installed with standoffs to allow clearance of the top cover. Well, here's an update. I have the layout complete. We're going to be running one of the Champ output transformers. These are sold by Amplified Parts. Really nice little transformer with 4 and 8 ohm outputs. 6AQ5 output tube, 12AX7 preamp. We're going to maintain the 6x4 and I landed a new filter cap. Let me take the underside. Here's the bottom side of the now amplifier. This is the rotary power switch. I might reuse that, still deciding. Power transformer, new filter cap, the driver board, 6x4. Here's a 6AQ5 and you see it's also on a recessed platform to allow clearance and we're going to reuse this socket for the 12AX7. These other items will stay in the tuner as abandoned. Okay, I've got the power supply wiring complete. And what I like to do at this point is just verify the high voltage and the 6 volt AC. So I have a meter hooked up across the power supply with a 10K resistor loading it. I'm expecting somewhere around 250 volts. So at 10K, we should have about 25 milliamps flowing. So let's go ahead and plug her up and see what we get. Power is applied. You can see the dial lamp on. So we got 6 volt AC. I'm using the 6x4 so the voltage will be slightly lower than diode mode. So there we go. 222 volts DC at 25 milliamps. No smoke. It's time to get the rust wired up. Okay, it's time to get the AC hooked up. So this will obviously be where the line cord comes in. Somebody added this phono jack. It's kind of chewed up, so I'm going to open that up and install a standard fuse holder. And then these two RCA jacks will become our speaker output jacks. All right, there's the AC in, fuse holder. And I was able to carefully drill out those RCA jacks and install quarter inch jacks. Then, bottom side, I reused one of these terminal boards to land the AC. Retrofit of the LT100A tuner to amplifier is complete. This is input, volume, tone, and you have the power switch, center position off. This is the tube rectifier or diode rectifier. Let's go around the back. Back side of the amp. My speaker outputs 4, 8 ohm coming off of the Champ output transformer. Tube lineup, 
we have a 12AX7 preamp, 6AQ5 output tube, and reused the 6X4 rectifier. Here's the bottom side of the amp. My speaker outputs, fuse holder, original power transformer. Then we have the D-Lab ECBA driver board running the show. Swing to the front side. This is my double pole, double throw power switch with center position off. Alpha pots. Down here is the switch craft input jack. Of course the driver board. Then we have our original socket used for the 12x7 and the 7 pin socket for the 6AQ5 which has been recessed to allow clearance. I've applied power to the amp in the tube mode. You can see our high voltage. Bring the volume up. Volume down. There's absolutely no hum. Go to diode mode. You can see she jumps up a little over 20 volts. Still nice and clean. If you decide to build this amp and you want that tube diode selection, you have to make sure to add some point .001 caps across those diodes or you will get switching noise. So I really enjoyed this build. This tuner was just asking to be a guitar amp. And of course the star of the show is that power transformer. So we'll scan the top of the amp. Original power transformer. We have the new filter cap. This is a CE distribution dual 50 microfarad cap at 500 volts. The 6x4 rectifier tube is still there. We have the added 12AX7 and the 6AQ5 output tube. And of course, the Champ output transformer that's offered by AmplifiedParts.com. So now let's take a listen to the amp. Of course, I'm using a looper. We're on tube mode. Let's switch to diode. Plenty of power from that little 6AQ5 output tube. So at this point, D-Lab is taking a mission accomplished on the retrofit of the LT100 to guitar amp. Next step, obviously, is to install the bottom panel and the top cover and send it back to the owner so he can have fun with it. So if you have one of these old tuners laying around or something like it that you'd like to convert into a Class A guitar amp, D-Lab can provide detailed pictures and schematics. You can find that on my Patreon account or buymeaglassofwine.com and I'll send you as much information as I can.